guys, welcome to Making Mindfulness Fun. We're on our last video in our Enneagram wing comparison series, and we're on to the Enneagram type one. And so we'll be comparing the Enneagram one wing nine to the Enneagram one wing two so that you can find out which one you truly are. Because the wings make a huge difference. But before we get into it, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on post notifications so you know the very second we put out a video so you can obsessively watch it the second we put it out. So type ones, you are the perfectionist, you maintain order and harmony, uh, you make sure everything's followed with great morals, and we appreciate that. But whether you're a wing two or a wing nine is going to affect how you move through your day, how you feel harmony internally. And I think it's really important for, because type ones, it's really, really important that you do have this sense of internal harmony. And if you're a one wing nine, you're gonna, I feel like it's like double, like you almost wanna have oh, extra definitely. harmony. Yeah, right? because as a nine wing, you're gonna be one, you're, there's a more introverted and extroverted wing, which we'll get into in a minute. You, yeah. Did you finish your statement? Well, yeah, that was basically, you're, you'll cover it. But yeah, in some ways, some of the wings are really, really dramatically different, I feel like. Like, so, for example, with the, the five. um, fives, the five, four versus five, six, I think ones, it's a little bit harder to tell because as a, because nines and twos are so similar in a lot of ways. And so if you're a one wing nine, you're a little bit more like, I just want peace, go with the flow. And if you're a one wing two, you're a little bit more about like serving others more more so than a nine. A nine would just kind of a one wing nine, like I'm good, I'm yeah, just gonna for chill. Sure. For sure. And so since there's a more introverted and extroverted wing, the nine wing one or one wing nine is going to be the more introverted wing. Instead of caring so much about, the type ones are the organizers, right? They love organization and they love organizing events. So if you're the one wing nine, did I say that right? Yeah, one wing nine, you're gonna be less care about, oh, let me organize events, let me be the leader for this. No, you're gonna be just more care about, I want my home to be organized. I want my life to be organized. I want anything that affects me to have a plan, a schedule, organization, and you're going to be more introverted and you're gonna be more drawn towards, oh, I just wanna spend time by myself. And this makes a big difference because if you're a one wing two, you're, it makes a difference if you need to make your environment surrounded by more alone time or extroverted time around people. Yeah, and I think the the one wing nine appears on the outside outside a bit more um, ca calm and relaxed, rather than the one wing two looks a bit more like they're trying to hold up the perfectionism that they that they feel on the inside. Whereas the the one wing nine is a bit more sly, casual. They feel it on the inside, but maybe it's a bit less dramatic in their external world. Don't you think? Oh, for sure, I agree. And the other one that I totally can't remember now. Well, so I said, my stepmom is a one wing two, and she, um, she's great at managerial skills. She um, leads so many community organizations. I think that um, one wing twos really tend to be leaders, like Isabel was saying. It's not, it, they still need this internal harmony, but they're real quick to like put it into their calendar, put it into their schedule with other people. Their house still looks great, but there's this external part where they're showing up for the world and trying to use their um, efficiency, and the, they can see they can see a bigger picture for things. So they're just amazing planners. Yeah, I think the type type uh, the nine wing creates a bit more of an intimate relationship with perfectionism. So the the immediate things in their life they want to you know uphold morality and perfectionism and have everything be organized. And I think they have a bit more um, closer one on one connections with people are more important to them. Whereas the type two wants to have a variety of connections mm -hmm. and like you said upholding a greater scheme of organization yeah so how to tell especially if, so now that you know the wings you need to tell which one you align with more which one you need to make space for in your life and I recommend you do this by and throughout your day notice when you're embracing your nine wing and when you're embracing your two wing do you feel better truly in your soul when you are organizing events for other people does that fulfill you when you're being more extroverted and helping people through your organization or do you feel better? Does your heart feel better when you are more on your own, organizing your environment, staying in your own harmony, making time to just be by yourself in a harmonious, in a organized environment? So to sum up, our shirts, Make America Zen Again, is the epitome of what a, what a one wing nine would want because you're all about Zen 
and you believe in liberty, freedom, and burritos. That's what that's what our kids say. That's what not our my kids. Our kids. 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 That's what <laughs> my kids. Say. That's what they say all the time. America, freedom, liberty, burritos. It makes no sense, but yeah. But I thought that wrapped up. It was yeah. a nice way to wrap so. up our series. I hope you enjoyed this Enneagram series. It really does make a big difference when you're aware of your wings. I can't believe how much. It not only changed my life, it makes such a huge impact. And when I'm helping to nurture my kids on the best trajectory for them, look at these smiles. It does work. Like nurturing these, these wings totally helps. And um, you don't need to hold attachment to, to like, well, no way. I am not at eight wing nine. How dare we don't, we don't need to, we're not judging ourselves. We're just trying to use it as a way of nurturing ourselves. It's like a, it's like a blanket that we give, give us, give ourselves when uh, things get hard and so stay tuned. Thank you for watching this series and stay tuned for our next series because we do, can, you do, we're not going to tell you yet what it's going to be, but it's going to be something super exciting. Oh, I know. It has to do with travel.